All right, so let's uh, review CSS selectors and uh, some of those things we were looking at with CSS selectors. So I'm just going to create a new directory, 011 CSS selectors. And, uh, and then inside there, I'll just create a new, I don't know if we'll have more than one example, but we'll just assume maybe we will, and create a new uh, HTML file index. And then also a new CSS file, and then split vertically, get that over on the right, and get this out of the way, and link them together. There we go. Cool. And if you're watching this video online, you can find all the code that we're working on. And GitHub goes to 11. That's the GitHub uh, username. And then the repo is under my repositories, HTML, CSS, Bootcamp. And make sure you star this so it moves to the top because I need to get like 51, well, I gotta get more stars so it could show up out here, HTML, CSS, Bootcamp. And uh, you can find all the videos that we've been doing in this course, YouTube Greater Commons. So you can find all the videos there, YouTube Greater Commons. And Greater Commons is a website I'm building with some friends that, you know, where you can learn stuff and then take what you learn and turn it into jobs, part-time and full-time jobs. And so we're building that. It's gonna launch pretty soon. You should check it out, sign up. Uh, last thing that I'll share is just Twitter. Follow me on Twitter because uh, I'm always posting cool videos and stuff about building websites, whether it's front end or back end with Go programming language. Sweet, there's the preamble. Let's learn something. So now I just want to create some stuff. And uh, I don't know, what were we using before? We were using divs, paragraphs. Does that sound good? So I could have a paragraph here and we'll call it line, we'll call it 10. And this paragraph's 11, and then I could have a div, and inside that div I could have a paragraph, and this paragraph is 13, and this one's 14, and this one's 15, and then uh, I could have an R, I don't know, a section inside that div, and this one would be paragraph 17 and paragraph 18, and then after here I have paragraph uh, 21. I'm just using the line numbers so that we could refer to line numbers. And this is 22, and 23, and 24. So we got some paragraphs, we got some divs, we have some section, we have a section. And so if I wanted to select uh, all of the paragraphs inside the div, what would be the notation I'd use to do that? Anybody interested? Write it down on a piece of paper. Get out a piece of paper and a pencil and write it down. Kinesthetic learning, it'll burn it into your head or type it into your keyboard. Who's participating with me? Raise your hand. Okay, cool. You're actually building it right now. You guys like to code as I lecture. So uh, div P, so all the P's that are beneath the div. That's the way we do it. That's the way we do it. I'm going to change my font size here. And uh, what we know now, I could do body, uh, font, size, and we'll do 32 pixels. And we'll do uh, display, flex. And uh, let's, I'm just contemplating what is that going to do with all this stuff. Um, Heck, let's just see what happens. And flex direction is a column. And uh, flex wrap is no wrap. Justify content center. And align items center. We got through 24 and 24. And we have 10. 10. I'm going to bring it down in size just a touch. Oh, I'm just going to reset all the space in between everything. HTML, body, paragraph, div, section. And we have padding, zero. And we have margin, zero. And we have box size and border box. And, uh, and then I'm going to make my body. 100 VH. 
and then I could bring this size back up. That's cool. Tells us which lines have gone red. Kind of like it. So that selected 13 through 18, and those are all of the P's which are under a div. How would I select just 13, 14, 15? Kapow. Right? All the P's which are immediate children of a div, 13, 14, 15. How would I select just 13? Plus. Plus one, baby. Oh! That gave us 21. Ann and I got shanghai on that one. That gave us 21 because it's any P that's after a div. Any P that's after a div. So, let's rethink that. So, the goal was to select 13. Could we do 13... First child. That also gave us 13 and 17, because 17 is the first child after section. So any P inside a div, any first child that is a P that's under a div, here we could do immediate. That will give us 13. Okay, so look. This gives me all of the P's under my div. This would just give me 13, 14, 15. All right? This gives me any ch first child that is a first child paragraph that is under a div. This is a first child. That's a first child. So I just want the first child up here. So give me any div, any P directly under. That gives me just 13. First of type versus first child? Yeah. I think those are interchangeable. Interchangeable. Oh, oh, without the error. No, that would probably give us both of them again. Yeah. We could also do nth child. All right, so how would I select just 17? Section. Yeah, let's do section. How would I select 18? Just 18. It works, you just put the number in. Yes. So I could have done that. How would I select 14 and 15? That doesn't like that. How would I select 21, 22, 23, 24? Tilde, siblings. Following 
Just 21, plus sign, just plus one sibling. Following. What will this give me? What's going to be selected? Give me the line numbers. 12 through 20? Or 13 through 18, rather? Is 15 a first child? Is 14 a first child? Is 13 a first child? What's a child? A child is somebody under somebody else, right? So is 13 a first child? Yeah, I think so. Is 17 a first child? I think so. Is 21 a first child? Is 10 a first child? Let's see. 10, 13, 17. What's this going to give us? We'll be selected. <laughs> 11, 14, 18. No. Yeah, stop by your head. 11, 14, 18. It's like, no, wait, that's, those are, that's sibling numbers. What's this going to give me? Anybody want to gamble? This would be like, you know, if you went to a, a web dev conference, this would be fun poker. Like just like try to throw each other off with code and, and start laying wagers. It's not going to give us anything. It's a trick question. Now, i got to change these numbers. Now, what's, what's that going to give us? 20. What's this going to give us? 20. All right, what's that going to give me now? Twenty and twenty one. What's it going to give me now? Yeah. What's it gonna give me now? Now it's gonna be seventeen and eighteen. <laughs> seventeen and eighteen. What's it gonna give me? This makes it seem like it needs to be a section and P. It... You just gotta remember I, in I, me. I, this it, is in me. Like go in me. I, Pointing I in. Plus under. It makes more sense to me. Plus is beside and sibling is beside. And then a P makes it seem like it should be the first child who's the second. All right, what's this one give us? 17 and 18. What's this one give us? 13 through 21. What's this one give us? 23 through 26. No. In me. In me. Pointing in. Under me. It just, you know, the arrow saying, you are under me. You're beneath me. I know, I'm trying to change your frame of reference. Plus one is by my side, going to the party to get her, hold my hand. Tilde is sibling by my side. Plus one is just one. Tilde sibling is like, I man, I got siblings. All of them, they're following me, after me. And then the greater than is under me. 
So what's what are the P's that are under that dip? 13 through 21? It's immediate though, so except 17 and 18. So it's going to be 13, 14, 15, 20, 21. So uh, what's that? Twenty-three through twenty-six. Nice. What's that? Twenty-three. Good job. That's fun, right? Nice little drill.